how to use the count if function in Google Sheets to solve a real problem, to solve a practical situation, a practical example. Here to the left, I have basically a sales report with the order date, the order ID, the region name, and also the total sold for each one of the different order IDs that I have here. Let's say I want to know how many orders are there for the North region, West region, South region, and also for the East region. So I need to count not all the orders that I have in this list right here, but just the orders that match with a certain criteria. And to do it, I can use the count if function to help me. This is how the count if function works. So it's going to count not everything that you selected, but just the things that match with a certain criteria that you defined before. Let's say I want to count all the orders uh, for the North region, for example, I can do it. I just need to define the criteria. So let's take a look here in a practical way. How can we do it? And we need to be mindful because the count if function is not count everything, but just the things that match with the criteria. Equal signs is the first thing that we need to input here in any cell and then count if. This is the function that we're going to use here, count if. I'm going to click in this function to select. And then the first thing that the count if function is asking me to input here is the range. What is the range that you're going to use as the count range? To count, can I select the first column or the second one, the third one, the fourth one? You tell me, what is the column that I need to select here? I'm going to select the entire column C. So I'm going to select, I'm going to click here over the letter C. Okay, I can either select the entire column C like this, or I can select a specific range like this one right here. But I'm going to stick with the first option and click over the letter C to select the entire range. Why I select the column C instead of the column B or the column D or the column A? Because the column C is where we have the criteria. So take a look here. We have the region's name. And what is my criteria? The region name. So it can be north, east, west, and so on and so on. So this is why I need to select the entire column C and not the column B. Because the column B, I haven't any criteria in the column B. So this is why I need to select the column C, because the column C is where I have my criteria. And then with the range selected, I can press here. I can input the comma. Now, the last thing that I need to input in the count if function is the criteria, the condition that I'm going to use to count. Count if a certain criteria is met, for example. And my criteria here is going to be the north region. And I can either open quotations mark, type it in north, close quotations, or I can select the cell where I have the criteria, Just type it in, okay? Close parentheses and then enter. Here we got. And also Google Sheets is very clever, so we have here the autofill option. But I'm gonna choose to reject this suggestion, okay? We have here already the first, uh, the first task solved, that is how many orders that I have for the north region, 15. And as you guys can see here, of course, I have in my data set more than just 15 rows or 15 orders. I have a lot of different rows here. So, okay, this might be correct. To do it again, we can do all over again, manually, equals, and then count if function again and again. But to do it uh, in a faster way, I can basically click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down to make sure all the rows now contain the same function. And we're done. So we have here the county function throughout all the regions and use all the criteria that we need. North, West, South, and East. And you don't need to use this exa same example that I am using here. You can use your own situation, your own problem to solve. So the count if is going to count whatever the criteria you want to use. Okay, so I hope you guys, this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.